Hey YouTube, it's November here in Eastern Massachusetts and it's cold. Uh, just actually north of us in New Hampshire got snow, um, so winter is on its way. Now you've probably seen some videos with my front end loader. Um, it's a Cub Cadet 149, I believe it's a 1974. Uh, anyway, when I got it, one of the purposes of getting this was for snow removal. And if you followed anything that uh, Norman had at ipesavetractors.com on his YouTube channel, he is a fantastic fabricator and um, I've met him in person. He's just a super nice guy. Um, and one of the things I liked that he did with his loaders was he made a quick attach plow. And I got thinking about that. And I had the plow for my Cub Cadet XT1 that I used last winter and made a lot of videos on. And I got thinking, I said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that I could put that plow on and still use the advantages of the bucket loader as far as picking up and lifting snow, as well as the advantage of a plow in moving snow efficiently on long straight strokes. So if I go up and down my driveway with a bucket, I'm gonna have to stop and dump it constantly. Um, pretty much every 18 inches of snow, you have to pick up, move, and dump. Which that's great when you get to the end of the driveway, but when you only get six inches in the driveway, and you get a long straight uh, push, it takes up some time. So I got thinking and I drew up some designs on paper and watch videos that Norman did and like I said he's a get some great ideas but what he used to attach his bucket or the plow to his bucket was straps and that's I think great up north where you get nice powdery snow but down here you know if this house wasn't here we're about I don't know, 400 feet from the water's edge so we get cold nasty thick wet nasty just disgusting snow and my fear was out plowing and moving snow around that those straps would freeze they get water on them they get cold and they'd freeze up so I decided to kind of take a take off Norman's design and make a quick attach taking advantage of the fact that my bucket is square not round so that gave me some advantages um, as opposed to the Ford LGT or the Johnson or quickway loaders um, this has a square bucket on this uh, old uh, L12 loader here. So let me show you. So this is the 46 inch plow blade made by uh, MTD Cub Cadet. This was featured in my video last year and all my other videos. And what I basically did is I took off the uh, bracket that attaches right here. Um, would be the pins that would attach to the bracket of the Cub Cadet make, to make a, uh, the plow rise and fall with that little lever. What I did is I kept the swing of the plow and the lever here to swing the plow blade and I welded on this piece of angle line here and I, you can see I chamfered the edges so when I drive in to the uh, angle line It'll self-center itself. And I added some gusseting right here. Um, again, this is just going to help take, distribute the load that's being exerted this way and exerted equally onto the lip of the bucket. So what I did is I got a piece of extra angle iron here for bracing. It's a quarter inch angle iron from a leftover project. And then I got, as you can see, I just estimated, but I left a lip for the bucket to curl and lift up that, um, lift that up and get under there, and it's a full two inches. And then I have this little piece of tail stock here that comes out, and this runs all the way to here. It comes out from the end of the stock plow to here, and this is what I think is ingenious. And actually, this is still warm for me welding it is I put this at a slight angle. It's not very tall, but it's got a slight angle to it too. So when the 
bucket curls down, it, it basically locks itself in. So essentially, I can get rid of the straps, and this bucket now becomes a quick attach. So I'm going to fire up the tractor. Again, I'm not very good at this because I literally just finished welding this. Um, I use my rules and pencils and design stuff um, when I had some free time and theoretically this would work and it, you know it fits on there I, I dry fitted it but um, I'm gonna watch and uh, I'm gonna fire up the loader and see how this works in practicality and like I said the idea I wanted is something that didn't require straps that can freeze and I wanted something that can come off the loader so when I get to the end of the driveway I can just you know come up push my snow back up turn the loader take the plow off without having to get off the tractor and then scoop the stuff that goes at the end of the driveway and then come back pick up my plow and move on so watch me fire up the loader and kind of experiment with uh, picking up this plow and again guys thanks for watching my channel and uh, subscribing and leaving the comments that you do uh, unfortunately I have not been able to add as many videos as I like I uh, just got a lot going on in my life right now with uh, family stuff and a little one on the way so you know it's hard getting tractor videos out and train car videos and all the other things that I do so I'm gonna put this on the uh, stand here and can watch me uh, fire this up and put this plow on on and off.